This is Cup of Sunshine, your Friday podcast brought to you by the Phoenix Center team of the Deutsche Internationale Schule Johannesburg. Welcome, I'm Fiona Schäfer, the coordinator for inclusion. Today I would like to speak about how to deal with transition phases, especially now that we are back at school. The past year has demanded a lot from us, both constantly changing conditions in our private and working life, as well as in and around school, a large portion of it required flexibility and permanent adaption, rethinking and reorientation. Of course, we cannot know what we will have to prepare for next, but we can be one step ahead and be prepared for the change itself. Especially now, at the beginning of the last term of this year, a big change is imminent for all of us. We are back at school again. Life and color and five days a week. Most of us lasted this seven months ago, and the same applies to many of us in their jobs. There are a few general principles to bear in mind while mastering this new chapter. Recognize that transitions hold a special place in your life memories. This pandemic actually is a big thing. It's something you remember for years, decades, probably for the rest of your life. Rather than trying to shove it out of your consciousness because it is challenging and uncertain, for a lot of us even very painful, rather give it the respect it deserves as an organizing principle of your life. View stress not as a threat, but as a challenge. Because stress is in the mind of the beholder, you can take an event that you are afraid will overwhelm you and turn it into an occasion you can rise above and conquer. Turn to your support network. Social support is one of the most significant keys to successfully managing change. Even an online community of people going through similar experiences can give you an emotional boost, as well as some practical tips. Realize that change is inherent to life and especially our current situation. No one's life ever stands completely still. No one ever gets through life without undergoing some type of change. At the moment, of course, we have to adapt more quickly and more frequently, and this might be draining at times. But this is also necessary to deal with and be ready for the new. So when it happens, don't fight it. As we begin to think about children returning to school following the coronavirus pandemic, it is a good opportunity to consider how your child is feeling and how we can prepare them emotionally and psychologically for the transition journey. We have been through unusual and unsettling times. Transitioning back to school in the COVID-19 era can present many challenges for parents and children. Many parents have reported that learning from home has given their child the opportunity to work at their own pace. Many children have also benefited from the one-on-one -on -one support, which has helped with learning. The shorter school day and flexibility for rest breaks has also meant that fatigue has been less of an issue. In addition, anxiety has improved for some children as a result of these factors. Given this, it is no wonder that returning to school comes with a mix of relief and excitement, along with a new set of stresses for children and parents. Many parents had conversations with their children about the importance of learning from home to keep them healthy and safe. Some children may now worry about the safety of returning to school. To help your child feel safe, have a conversation with them explaining that everyone at school is working hard to make sure that children are safe. Anyone who is unwell will stay home. Reassure your child that it is normal to have mixed emotions, such as excitement, relief, worry and anger. Discuss what they are looking forward to and what they are worrying about. Reinforce good hygiene practices. After school, it will be important to talk to your child about their day, including what they have enjoyed, what they have felt worried about, and what they are looking forward to tomorrow. Schedule extra family time, as your child is likely to have missed being at home with you. Your child may feel more fatigued and will benefit from quiet activities to recharge. Ensure that your child is linked in with the learning support team if needed. As children readjust to the pleasures and challenges associated with school, they may show greater difficulties with emotional regulation and challenging behavior. Remember, this is likely to be part of the readjustment phase and should improve with time. Your child may need your help to regulate as well. You may find it helpful to add some relaxation strategies into the daily routine. Exercise can also help. While supporting your child in this transitioning phase, be aware of your own emotions so that you don't transmit your anxiety to your child. 
Talk to your child's teacher about your child settling in again, if their interests have changed and how they are feeling. Follow your child's lead during the transition and respond to their emotions as they happen. Be positive, but be honest. Don't dismiss your child's emotional behavior. They are showing you how they feel. Act on any concerns swiftly and maximize support available. Thank you for listening. That's all for today. I hope you'll join us next week again for more helpful hints and tips from the Phoenix Center.